welcome to SITREP, where each week we give you a rundown of the top headlines from Military Times. Violence in Afghanistan has escalated as angry mobs lob grenades at a U.S. base and clash with police protesting the burning of the Quran by U.S. troops. A manhunt is underway in search of an Afghan security official who on Saturday murdered two American officers inside the Afghanistan Ministry of Interior. The Taliban has claimed responsibility for the attack. In addition, two soldiers, Sergeant Timothy Conrad Jr. and Sergeant Joshua Bourne, were shot and killed by an Afghan soldier who turned against them in apparent retaliation for the burnings, which American officials have apologized for. By October, there will only be 7,000 Marines in Afghanistan. That's a reduction of 10,000 Leathernecks in a matter of months, a more dramatic shift than military leaders originally forecast. Major General John Tulin, head of Regional Command Southwest, says forces will also slash its number of bases and outposts from 108 to only 28. No iPads for the Air Force Special Operations Command, for now. The plan to buy almost 3,000 iPads to replace flight bags has been halted. Air Force officials say they are trying to acquire tablets consistently across the service. But a Canadian security company suggests the Air Force canceled the purchase because of Russian-developed software on the tablets. Meanwhile, the Air Force Air Mobility Command's plan to buy 18,000 iPads is still a go. For these and other headlines, be sure to pick up your favorite edition of the Military Times newspapers. And for up-to-the-minute news breaks, check out MilitaryTimes.com. For SITREP, I'm Tony Lombardo.